Well, hello, officially. Welcome to Holly's Norwex party. Um, so let me pull my script up on the right screen. There's always these multiple screens and mm -hmm. make sure I'm looking at the right screen. Um, so if you have like pen and paper or anything for keeping notes in case you have a question, of course, with just two of us right oh. now. <laughs> Yay, good job. Um, so to be official, we'll pretend there's more people on the party. Um, in the chat, you can put down how you know the hostess. What chat? I don't have a chat. You got an open chat. So at the bottom of your screen. Um, Where it says uh, more? Yes. Does it pop up with um, a oh, little Oh, click chat? on chat. Yeah, click on chat. You froze, but I don't know if you can hear me or not. So if you can, go over to chat and you can. Okay. Talk. There you are. You froze for a second. Yeah, when I went to chat. Oh, now it says mine is unstable. <laughs> so, yeah, so type in how you know the hostess and. Um, Let's see, what else do I want you to type in there? Um, oh, and what city you're in? And I'll do it too. Okay. It's the two of us. So I know. You got now did yours? Did you do it and hit enter? Not yet. Oh, okay. Holly's texting me. Looks like you froze. No, I just can't stand it. Oh, well, I can. Your face is frozen, but I can hear you. <laughs> okay, so I close my chat. Weird. So when you're on chat, it freezes you. Okay. Um, Enum Claw, direct sales buddies. So did you know each other before BPW? Or you um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I wasn't a member. Okay, I couldn't remember if you had ever joined or not. Okay. I had, but it was uh, was after Holly and I had met. Got it. Okay. Yes, Holly talked me into be on the board, and then she left, and I'm still on the board. And oh, you are. Yeah, I'm actually yeah. The, the president of the local right now. Oh, congrats. Yeah, it's kind of struggling at the moment, but COVID didn't help any. We were already on a decline, and then COVID hit, and we're just like, oh my gosh, what are we doing? Mm hmm. So, um, if you don't have anything going on in your background that you have to worry about muting any barking dogs or anything, but if so, just mute it. Do you know how to mute it? Yes. Okay. So you're good otherwise. Um, and then we got the chat going. If you have any questions, since there's two of us, you can just interrupt me. Um, or you can type something in chat, but if you're not wanting to use that, that's fine. Okay. Um, so, um, I kind of told you about, I'm, I am enjoying doing the parties on Zoom. Makes it really easy and it makes it easy for the hostess because um, you don't have to clean your house and <laughs> make snacks. So, and what I've done now is I have a hostess coaching video I made and it's really bad. It's just like, you know, but gives you all the tips and tricks and then you can watch it at your convenience instead of us trying to, since we can't get together anyway. And then it um, has like a secret code in the video. And then when you text me the code, then I send you all the rest of the links and everything to add you into the party. And then you oh. invite people and all that good stuff. So it's, it's pretty easy. Um, I just realized, okay. Holly keeps texting me. 
So um, you know who I am, but we are recording this and then I'll post it in the group. So I'll do my spiel anyway. So I'm Grace Peters. Um, so I've been selling Norwex, actually July 15th will be nine years, which is kind of crazy. Um, I originally started because I had teenagers at home, between teenagers and everything at our church, I just needed something different, you know, and um, I had done some direct sales years before and my husband knew I enjoyed that. So he's just like, just do it, have fun. I don't care if you make money, just have fun. So <laughs> that was the original reason I saw the products and the, I loved them and, and their mission and everything. And I still sell because I still, I mean, I don't have teenagers at home, but, um, and I have a day job now, but I still love the products and love the company. I don't know if I'd ever quit selling it because even if you're not doing parties, you can still sell. Um, so I love helping people remove the toxic chemicals from their homes and helping them save time and money. And then our party queen, which is Holly, which for those who aren't on, she is at the dentist right now. So we're praying she gets done quickly. Um, she, I would normally be asking the hostess what, why she wanted to have a party and what she wanted. Holly is an ongoing customer. So she has bought stuff in the past and with Holly being a reflexology and she's an essential oil, she likes to have as much a natural products as well. So I know she already loves the products and wanted to share with her friends. So Donna, do you like to clean? Do I like to clean? Yeah. Do you just no. love cleaning? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so that's one great reason there's an Orwex. So really, if you love to clean or don't love to clean, if you don't love to clean, this will save you a lot of time. <laughs> you don't have to use all the chemicals. You use a wet cloth for most of the tasks. So it makes it easy and fast. Um, if you love to clean, you'll love I Orwex. Use, I use this every day. Oh, good. With my makeup. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So it, it it's awesome. And if you love to clean, you'll love it because it cleans well without all the chemicals and it's going to save you time and money and you can get more cleaning done. Um, I have one friend I always tell about if she watches these videos, she'll probably shoot me, but um, she doesn't like to clean. And this was years ago when I first started trying to get some of my friends to try Norwex. I gave her, or she bought or whatever, like the household pack with the Enviro cloth, dust mitt, and window cloth. So I asked her, you know, a few weeks later how she likes it. And she said, I'm really mad at you. <laughs> like what? And she said, well, I was, she was using the Enviro cloth and she was doing a little bit of cleaning in the kitchen. I think she was cleaning the like oven hood that gets really nasty and greasy. Mm -hmm. And she started cleaning that and it like, made everything else look dirty because it was clean. <laughs> so then, <laughs> and then she started cleaning more and more. And she has both of her wrists, she's had surgeries and stuff. So her hands were hurting and she couldn't stop cleaning. <laughs> no. And it was funny because she doesn't like to clean and she's not one known to have a super clean house because she's always had pets and kids and everything. And I was just like, wow, if Norwex can get Pam to not stop cleaning. <laughs> <that's> <laughs> That's a miracle, but anyway, um, yeah, so she loves it. She still uses it. Um, so our products, um, I'm going to, instead of telling you how they work first, I'm going to start with our most coveted product. So do you know which Norwex product is the most desired, not necessarily the most purchased? Does that make sense? I'll give you a hint because it's a little one of our most, it's our most expensive product. The mop? Yes. So the mop is the most coveted. Um, and so I'm going to show you, have you used the mop? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So the harder thing with, you know, of course, doing it on Zoom is you're not seeing my full body, but the mop has on the bottom, it, it sticks to Velcro. Um, and I have my two things here. So what I do, so this one, there's a yellow for uh, dry mopping, for your dust mopping, and then a blue okay. 
for the wet mop and they have Velcro on the back. I just throw mine on the floor with the Velcro side up. And I didn't put it on very centered um, because then you can also fold up one side and it will get the baseboards and stuff. So it's kind of a little tip if you have one side up when you're uh, dust mopping, you'll get the sides. So anyway, so it doesn't matter if it's perfect. Um, one nice thing I like is for those that know me and my husband, I'm 5'11", my husband's about 5'6". So the mop, you want the ball to be about between your nose and chin for the right height for you. And so you just, you turn it and then you can make it go up and down for whatever height you need. So I like that because it works for anybody. And it's, it's very, very sturdy, but it's also very lightweight. Mm -hmm. um, this one you'll see is a little banged up. This is the original mop I got in my kit almost nine years ago. And it's the only mop I use. So it's the one I took to all my parties and the one I use at home. So even mm -hmm. though it's scratched up, I've never replaced anything on it. I've never even replaced the pads because they're washable and they still mm -hmm. work great. So if you think about the investment of a mop and it's lasted nine years with no replacements, <laughs> you, you could not get all the other even cheapy ones. You know, you would go through many, many of those. So this is a great investment. The nice thing also is, um, it is an investment if you choose to purchase it. It does come in our kit if you sign up as a consultant. And um, there's often times it's in the hostess package or you get hostess credit so you could also apply it to a mop. Um, and next month, if you're wanting to have a party, with Norwex right now doing record sales but having limits due to COVID, it's making some challenges so they're they're changing up their hostess package in July a little to make sure they have enough products for the customers. So we're tweaking some stuff in the packages. So there's not a mop next month, which there normally is. However, I have a mop in my inventory. So I'm working up a deal. I'm going to do some sort of contest in July. So one of my uh, hostesses will win it for free in addition to whatever else she earns. So that's a good little incentive there if you're wanting to host a party, if anyone wants to host it. Um, this also, this mop also has the little extending thing on it. And I saw that it's being discontinued, but I don't know if they're changing it and bringing it back or discontinuing it. So if it's still available, it's a cool thing to have. If you have a lot of hardwood floors um, and, and furniture, um, this, it actually, it bends the mop. What? Yeah, so what I do is I, I would step on the bottom of the mop and pull up with, you know, my hand on the top and bend. Then you can get under the furniture. And as you pull it back out, then it will automatically pop back into place. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, and it adds some inches to your mop handle too, if you're tall and needed, or if you're, using it on other things. Um, the other cool thing is we now have a mop pad. I just, I think it just probably came with my package delivered today and I haven't opened it yet. We have a mop pad that's a, a window cloth mop pad. So it makes it really easy to do all your windows with the mop. So that's a pretty cool, before we had some little things where you could wrap the mop, the window cloth, you know, and stick it on and it was hard to maneuver but now there's actually a pad that's made from the window cloth. So you can do your outdoor windows or high windows with your mop. Very um, cool. And then another cool thing is our, um, and I'll talk a little bit about this later, but our uh, Enviro wand, which is our dusting wand and it bends and everything for ceiling fans. It also comes apart and you can take the mop head off of the handle and put this on the end of the mop handle to reach high ceiling fans um, so that you can extend it. So we have a couple products now that will all interattach uh, to make things easier. We have a new handle similar to this, a little different size, 
and uh, um, that you can attach to a small mop head only and use that for like uh, windows in your car or um, your bathtub or whatever. So it gives you a mm. short handle. So you've got all mm -hmm. these different options with the different handles and mops and stuff. So this one here. Oops. I don't know if you can see my little house back there with all my goodies. <laughs> and then another thing I like with the mop is the rubber brush. I don't know if you've tried that, but this works great for um, when you've got all your dust and stuff on your mop pad. It's a little weird maneuvering in an office, sorry. Okay, then you would use, you could use this to easily get all of the dust and dirt off of it into your garbage can. Hmm. For grabbing all the wads of pet hair and stuff, this works great. This also works really good for um, carpet, like your stairs or things that are hard to get pet hair out of. Um, and actually pets like it, like to actually brush the dogs with it because it's a nice, just a soft rubber. But it also gets kind of staticky, so it also helps grab that extra pet hair when you're brushing it and stuff. Hmm. So that's kind of an intro. Oh, sorry, my chair's all wonky. Um, okay, so knocking things over. Nice thing about doing this at my desk is you can't really see all the mess in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> So Norwex, um, I was going to tell you in the catalog to the mop system is on page, I think, eight and nine. Um, and there's a couple different colors now. Mine is in the original blue and green. And now there's kind of a rose gold beige color that's really pretty. So you have a couple options. Hmm. Um, so Norwex uh, began with an Enviro cloth. And um, this is a nice clean one, or pretty clean one. Um, and I have a wet old one that I'll be using. But our EnviroCloth um, is made of microfiber. And microfiber has to be the size, um, to be considered micro, like if you see anything in the store or any five fabrics, micro means that it's one um, sixth the size of a human hair. Well, it has to be at least that small. And so Norwex was last tested at at least one two hundredth the size of a human hair. Um, it could be finer, but that's as fine as the tests go. So like when I started, they used to say one one hundred because that's all the tests could go to. So now we know we're at least one two hundredth of a human hair. And there's about 2,000 miles of fiber in one cloth. So if you unwove this, uh, it would go from Canada to Mexico. Um, so, with the fineness and the density, if you compare it to other claw, claws you'd find in the store, you'd be able to see light through them or see through them. And this is a really dense, heavy duty cloth. Um, so, with just water, that fiber being so dense and fine, when you're washing the counters or wiping up your raw chicken, it's actually removing the germs from the surface. Whereas cotton claws will pick up some of the stuff, but it's mostly moving it around the actual germs. Um, if you're using like any sanitizing wipes or other chemicals, if you read the instructions, you would have to cover the, you first you're supposed to clean the surface, then you cover it with the wipes um, or sprays or whatever you're using and let it sit, I think 10 minutes then you have to wash that back up. So that's how you technically would use them. Um, so you obviously spend a lot more time and money and all those nasty chemicals. So with our wet cloth, you can remove the germs, you clean the, all the debris off the surface. Then um, what makes ours really unique is that we have silver embedded into the fiber. So it won't ever come off, it's not coated. Our fiber is made um, from polyester and polymer and silver melted together to make the fiber. So it's all, it's in it, it's in there forever. And silver naturally inhibits the growth of bacteria. 
Um, you've probably heard of it in like silverdine, which is used on burns, and um, there's more and more, more and more things that are now using silver because of that, uh, the property of being able to do that. So what our cloth is doing then is the cloth cleans the surface, and then the bacteria and things that are trapped in the cloth, the silver then inhibits that growth. It stops it from growing. So if you use your cloth, it's best to use it flat so you have more surface area. Then after you're done, just rinse it out, get whatever debris you've picked up or grease, that kind of stuff. You know, wring it out well and hang it to dry. And then while it's drying, that's the, it's basically being kind of sanitized with the silver. The next day it won't be all stinky like a regular kitchen cloth would be. And that allows you to use it over and over and over. Um, I usually wash all my Norwex, even my bath towels and everything, about every three to four weeks. So I use them all. And then when I, usually it's my body cloth that may start to um, give in a little bit and start smelling. So that's when I just go wash all my Norwex at once. Because um, eventually, technically, the bacteria is dead in the cloth, which sounds kind of gross, it doesn't transfer. But eventually it just can't pick up any more and keep smothering it because it's kind of like getting all full up. That sounds kind of weird and hard to explain. But <laughs> so that's why eventually it may start smelling depending on what you're cleaning with it. And that's why, why the body cloth does because you're cleaning your body and body odor and everything. Um, so I'm going to do the chicken demo. I have a mirror that I'll use for my demo. I have a wet cloth. This actually is, I like using really old cloths just so you can see they still work. So this one should be at least eight to nine years old. I don't know if it was one of them from the very first month or two, but somewhere in the first year. So this is a pretty old cloth and it's just wet with water. And I have some raw chicken, delicious raw chicken. And then I'll rub the raw chicken on the mirror. So it's nice and slimy until it's on there. I'll wipe my hands off with the cloth. Okay, so you know the chicken's on there. You saw me do it, it's no trick. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna wipe it off with the cloth. Then, this handy dandy little tester. This is testers that like the health department will use in a restaurant when they're checking the kitchens to make sure they're cleaning. So there's a little swab on the end. I'm going to swab all over, turn it, hopefully you can tell. Holly's trying to call me. Okay, anyway, so you put it back down in here and you break this little liquid deal and swish it around. And it's hard to tell on there, but there's like green and all the way to purple or the other way around. Yeah, green to purple. Um, green means clean. It means there's no protein. And protein is smaller than bacteria. So the green means it's clean. So you can tell it's green, right? And then what I'll do to show you the purple is I'll touch the chicken. And the tip is already turning purple. I don't know if you can tell or not. And it's already turning. It's hard to tell on the screen, but I think you can tell it's already turning purple. You can tell. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so that's just to kind of show you scientifically that yes, it is cleaning. And then I like to at parties also show uh. I trust it. <laughs> By licking I it, grossing it. Did not do that. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that for almost nine years, and I'm still alive. Um, 
never gotten sick. And then also, it's awesome at picking up grease. So I'm just using some fake butter because it sprays easily, less messy for the demo. And then this cloth again is the same cloth. Um, they don't cross contaminate, so you could use the same side or you could flip it or whatever. Um, you could actually clean your bathrooms and then your kitchen. I, that sounds yeah. gross. I would rinse it out in case there's any, you know, stray stuff on there, but the germs will not cross from one surface to another. So like at a party, I might like clean the chicken and then go clean another surface and test both and show you that it didn't, it didn't transfer the chicken to the next location. Um, but also, like I said, this is just cold, wet. It's not hot, nothing special and it will just clean the grease right off. And you should do the squeaky clean. <laughs> so that's marvelous. And then the next one is the window cloth. And um, the window cloth, it's the same fiber Oops, it says she was on Zoom. I didn't see her try to get on. I don't know, just a second. Holly's texting me and calling me. Let's see here. Uh, I... She'll try coming in on the Zoom again. Um, so anyway, the window cloth is the same fiber, but a different weave. So like all of our, any of our uh, microfiber products are the exact same fiber. Um, a couple of them don't have the silver in them for different reasons, but most of them do. But then there'd be different weaves for different purposes. So the Enviro cloth is like the workhorse. I've gotten chocolate out of carpet with it, old chocolate. I've gotten stain, old stains out of carpet. Um, I've picked up a big gulp of, uh, it was either root beer or Coke out of a light tan carpet with no staining left. I mean, you can, I've gotten double stick tape off of stuff with it. So it's, uh, it does a lot of stuff with just the cloth and water. The window cloth is awesome for your windows, mirrors, anything shiny. Like I like shining up my um, faucets with it. I even when I'm washing the toilet down on the outside, I like to dry it with the with the window cloth because it just shines it up nice, doesn't leave any water spots or anything. Um, so I didn't bring my water bottle in here. Well, I don't know why I forget to do that. Let's see. That was a lot of water. Do -do -do, just a second here. Get some of that water off. Okay. Anyway, so you can kind of see it's wet. It's a little hard to tell. But anyway, the it'll it'll clean your windows so normal streaks and fingerprints. It'll get like your toothpaste off your mirrors and stuff. Um, and you just would use the window cloth to nice and shine it up. So I really need to get a new mirror. It's so scratched. It's hard to tell that the windows or that it's super clean, but um, hey, Grace Marie. Yeah. Excuse me. Do you dry anything? Like, are you, that's a wet cloth. Then do you use a dry is, cloth? This is dry. The Enviro cloth is dry? The, no, wait, the window the cloth. The cloth is wet. The, the window cloth is dry. Okay. So if you were going to do like your mirrors or windows, you could just spray them with water and then wipe them down with the Enviro cloth. Dry. And with the window cloth. Dry. As, okay. as the window cloth gets wet, it's fine because it's still, it'll still kind of pick up, it'll keep picking up water. Um, sometimes then I'll just keep using it damp and not keep spraying the mirror, you know, if it gets really wet. But um, if you have really grimy, like say you've got, um, I know you don't have little kids living with you. I don't, do you have grandkids? Yeah. 
So like if you have like a sliding glass door and they've got their jam of finger handprints on it, you know, crusted on there, it doesn't quite come off. You could use the Enviro cloth first and get off the hard stuff and then just dry it with this. Okay. So you don't have to have the Enviro cloth. You can have this just, or you can use whichever way you like to use it. Sometimes on my mirror, just instead of carrying my spray bottle around, because I already, I'm going to have the window cloth and Enviro cloth. I'll just kind of wipe it with the window and dry. I mean, wipe it with the Enviro and dry with the window. Mm -hmm. Kind of depends on your preference. Um, and then we have the little travel cloth. This is an old color. We don't have any more, but then we have this, the smaller travel cloth. It's called the travel pack is the mini version of the Enviro. So these come in a pack of five. And these are awesome because they, well, I have one friend that has them all over her house and in her RV. They're just small and easy. I have one in my bathroom at all times and I can clean up messes easily. I have one, I take them to the grocery store with me. What, what are those called? The travel pack. Travel pack of what? It, well, they just call them a travel package. And it is, um, five, yeah, it's five mini Enviro cloths is what they are. Travel size Enviro cloths. Thank you. Yep. And so they're awesome for wiping down your cart, wiping your hands while you're at the store, stuff like that. Um, for any little spills. They even work pretty good on your clothes, like if you spill while you're at the restaurant. Can <laughs> that plug in over there for my phone? What? Can you grab that plug in over there for my phone? Please. The Enviro cloths come in um, like seven colors now. And the window cloths come in three colors now, which is nice. You can color, color, color coordinate. Thank you. Talking to? I'm watching a Zoom meeting. Hmm? I'm watching a Zoom meeting with my friend Grace Marie. Hi. Where's my husband Tom? Hi there. Hi. <laughs> I had to plug my phone in. That's right. <laughs> um, so then the dust mitt is the next item and the dust mitt is awesome the only problem with doing a party in my office is i've already kind of dusted the main areas <laughs> to kind of try to show you how well it picks up i don't know if yeah that's not very dusty but the dust mitt is awesome it's a little thicker and um, it will grab the dust and it will all be clinging to the dust mitt so it's not going to stir it up or push it off the edge. And so it's picking up more dust and it's not resettling. So it's going to clean it better. And you won't have to clean dust as often because it's not just coming back down. And you don't want to use any um, dusting sprays or anything. They actually kind of attract dust because it's damp. You know, so dust sticks to it. It's kind of weird. Makes it look pretty, but um, just dust with the dusting mitt. If you have something, say like your window seals, sometimes if you don't clean them often enough, it gets a little hard to dust, kind of gets settled on. You could mist this with a little bit of water and then do it. Um, another really cool thing I like is if you get this, either mist it wet or sometimes I'll even just get it soaking wet and wring it out, is you use it on your um, window screens. And I've done this at parties with some pretty big wow factors is you just have this wet, wipe your screens, and all of a sudden you realize your screens are supposed to look white and not like charcoal gray. <laughs> and this will be filthy wow. dirty. Filthy dirty, but it, because the fibers are longer, it just gets right in there and cleans them with real little effort. Um, oh, holy, I cannot answer you. And try to do a party at the same time. Um, then the other thing is it works great on your blinds. 
Um, if you have arthritis in your hands, it's nice because it's a loose fitting knit. You're not having to hold on to something and it easily, you know, fits around lines and things. Um, and then I showed you already the dusting wand. So that's another option for dusting to do the higher things. Just a second, I'm texting her. Um, Sorry. Yeah, I'm moving around too. I'm trying to find a place. My phone's not working very well again. Uh oh. I'm telling Holly to try again. She said that I, the hostess wasn't let her in, but I didn't see it pop up. So watch for that. Grab the next item. Wow, you're looking. Yay. Oh, shoot. Let's see how we. All right, now I'm out. Hello, Now home. I'm out. I can hear you, Donna, but I can't. You're frozen on the screen. I know, I don't know. No, I'm out. I don't know what happened. Oh, so you're just on audio, maybe on your phone or something? Yep, I got a. I'm gonna. Hmm. Do you, you want to? Do you want to go off and come back in? Can you boot me out? Um, let me see. Yes, let's see. Let here. me. Uh, well, okay. Just a minute. Oh no! If I boot you out, you won't be able to rejoin. It says. Okay, just hang on. <laughs> That's okay. Holly's on now. Hello. Hello, Holly. Hello. Donna's having some technical difficulties. Hi, this Holly. Is... Hi. I'm so sorry. But you got... I'm sorry you had trouble with your dentist, with yeah. your teeth. Oh, my temporary crown, I flossed it right out today. I almost sent it flying down the sink drain. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, I'm glad it didn't go down the sink drain. No, that would have been different. I don't think I would have gotten a new one. I don't know what they would have done. I probably would have had to cancel clients this afternoon. And Yeah, because they would have had to do a whole new one. Yeah, and the permanent is supposed to go on Thursday. Oh. The permanent was supposed to go on last Thursday, but it wasn't made correctly. Oh, lovely. I love this dentist, Bonnie Lake Dentist, yeah. up, by the, up on 410 across from Chevron. Yeah. I love all the dentists, but they can't make a crown to save their lives. That's crazy. Two of the three crowns I've had done there have just been disasters. Well, I've had a crown done at mine, and it's been wonderful. Here I am. Yay, Donna's back. Hi, Donna. Hi, honey. <laughs> How are you? Great. Good. So, Holly, do you still have to get off right at 12? Yeah, okay. I do. I have to. I have a client. Okay. Yeah, sorry. Right. Well, let's. I, Holly, I see like the top of your forehead. I know, because I'm trying to take some ibuprofen because my, my hip. I now know I now know what to call the pain in my hip. It yeah. is a constant throbbing migraine 24/7. Oh, wow. That's horrible. I'm glad that's getting fixed soon. <sighs> Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> I know I forgot to ask Donna if you had your beverage with you. Yeah, coffee. You have coffee. I've got water. <laughs> <laughs> I've got water and ibuprofen. Because all you need is Norwex and water, right? Right. <laughs> right. Okay, so we'll go to the next product. Um, so the products I'm showing are, they're like the most used products. And then from there, whatever problem or issue you have, then we would pick out pro uh, products for you. So these are also all available in one package, which is called the Safe Haven 5 package. Um, oh, anyway, everything I'm showing you is part of that package, but they can all be bought separately. 
the, the Norwex cleaning paste is awesome. Um, this paste is replace like all your powdered um, like Ajax kind of stuff. Mine looks kind of wonky. So I'm going to show you here's this is a small sample size one. But I want to show you when you buy it new, it just is like flat and smooth. Um, mine has been dropped and stuff. So sometimes it'll like maybe break that I've just put a little water in and kind of smushed it around. So it just looks a little funky. Um, it's kind of crumbling. But the nice thing with the Norwex, uh, the cleaning paste is instead of sprinkling a whole bunch like in your bathtub or in your sink, you would just use your cloth and wipe like what you need on the end and you just need a little clean your sink if you need a little more just get a little more this thing's going to last you for years um i saw i was look i tried to look up norwex stuff online to see what other people say about it and i found one that was taught you know people love to like compare products similar products from different companies and i found one where they were comparing it to another one and the other one was much bigger. So for, first they were saying, hey, this other one is bigger and costs less. Why is Norwex cost more? Then when they were using them and um, then like, you know, she didn't update a year later or something. And the one that was bigger, she went through it twice as often. So it was costing less, but costing more, if that makes sense. <laughs> so. So the Norwex one was lasting way longer, even though it was smaller. So it, you know, can't look at size on Norwex because everything's super concentrated with no extra fillers or junk in them. And you use so little that it's gonna last you a long time. So this is awesome on a lot of things. I, one thing I love about it is it's safe on um, your food products, like your, uh, your not products, but um, like in your coffee pot, you can clean the stains out with it. Um, if you have like plates or cups that get kind of that scrap, boom, comes right off. Um, and it's safe, it's not going to harm you using in your coffee pot. Also works great on a glass top stove. Um, and then again, like in your bathtubs and sinks, just anywhere you need that little extra scrubbing power. And if you have something you're not sure of, like a stainless steel fridge, just test it somewhere first. Usually it's fine, but it could scratch if it's a really fine, there's different kinds of stainless steel fridges. So um, it's gonna be safe on most everything. It actually will even do, though Norwex won't put this in a catalog. I've cleaned like silver um, silverware, like, you know, silver spoons and stuff and done that as a demo and cleaned them or like uh, teapots and things. It works great on like a teapot that's been sitting on your stove, gets all greasy and grimy. You can clean it off with the cleaning paste. So it, it's very multi-purpose, a little goes a long ways um, and it's not toxic, just has a couple of ingredients in it. So that's a good must have. And it's a nice, if you don't have a lot of our other cleaners, I would recommend this first then it, or if you have a specific problem, uh, hard water stains or, you know, needing like the oven spray, we have other cleaners for that as well. But this will do most of your basic stuff. And then the, the fifth, little well, six kind them off, is our, uh, our laundry mm -hmm. detergent. So we have two different ones to choose from. We have a liquid pump and our original dry one. Um, Again, it's very concentrated. So if you look at the size of a bag, it doesn't look really big, but it comes with a little scoop in it. And for a regular machine, I usually use about a half to three quarters of a scoop for a full load of laundry. If it's an HE machine, which now I have, which just boggles my mind, I just use like less than a, like, I don't know, like about a teaspoon. I just use a little teeny bit. Actually, probably less than that. I'm going to spill it all over um, for my whole load of laundry. And if yours needs liquid, 
for your little drawer or whatever for your machine, I, like mine does. I just put a little, I just have a little cup sitting on my um, washer. I just put a little bit of water in the cup and put the detergent in there and kind of stir it around and pour it in. Um, and then we also have the liquid and this goes by the number of pumps. So like one pump if it's HE, a couple pumps if it's regular machine. And so this will last you quite a long time. And it will always tell you, like this says it's 215 loads for an HE machine in this bottle. So that'll last you a while. <laughs> so it's hard to look at that and think it's gonna do 215 loads. Um, and this one, says 50 HE loads, but it actually does more because Norwex always errors on the side of caution. So if you have soft water, you're gonna get more out of it. If you have hard water, that's gonna probably be what you're gonna get out of it. And so play with, play with the amounts, like try less and see if it works because it, uh, it, it will really be quite shocking how little you need. Um, the other nice thing with the laundry detergent, it has a lot of other uses as well. Um, it's really good at cutting grease. So it works great on things that are greasy. So you know the screen, um, like from the oven hood vent, you know, and you get they get all grimy. Yes. They're hard to clean. So one demo I've done is in the sink, fill up a few inches of hot water put about a half a scoop of detergent in, let them sit for like 10 minutes, take them out and they're clean. Um, oh my God. Yeah, it's amazing. And I, I actually use it in my baths. I used to, well, I have a regular shower now, but in the bathtub, I've even done, um, I clean the bathtub with my mop because I don't, I can't bend and squat and stuff. So I'll put like an inch of hot water in the bathtub and sprinkle a little detergent and then I'll mop the shower and bathtub with that. Um, you can put it in a spray bottle with water, use it on your stainless steel fridge. It helps cut all the fingerprints and grease. Um, you can put it in a carpet cleaner and shampoo your carpets with it, way better than chemical solutions. There was something I just watched the other day. Oh, and I'm gonna do it on my back porch. I'll have to take a before and after picture. Someone showed the side of their house that was getting all black and they put um, they put a little bit in a bucket of water and just used a, an outdoor broom. They said they didn't use any hard effort, just went over the side and then sprayed it off and it was clean. They showed a before and after. Um, and then also like on the deck, I'm going to put it in water, use a broom, spread it all over, let it sit and then rinse it and it will clean the deck really well. I've seen some other pictures. So there's lots of good uses for the detergent as well. Um, so that's another thing I love about our products is they're very multi-purpose. And those five products on the broom will do a good majority of your house. Um, let me go back here. And I don't know, like I you can see my little house thing back here. I have some of the products there if you have questions. Um, so besides those top products that I showed you, we do have, um, I know Donna said she cleans her face with the face cloth. We have body cloths, bath towels. Holly mentioned in the party about her dog, the pet mitt, and just using it wet and wiping down the pets. Um, there's kids products, there's um, skin care. So there's a little bit of everything and our toothbrushes are awesome um, with silver in the head and my teeth have been, my gums have improved um, while using the Norwex toothbrushes. Yeah. Mine too. Yeah, and mine too. too. Yeah. And we have like the stainless steel drinking straws. We have some more kitchen products because they also want to help eliminate plastic waste. So we have some of the silicone lids and silicone things. Plus we have the water pitcher, um, you know, to purify your water so you're not using bottled water and stuff. So there's a little bit of everything. So out of everything I've talked about so far, or any other products, Donna or Holly, do you have any questions I can answer? I just want to say, I, I didn't get this put into our post and I regret it, but um, the baby um, body cloths, those, I bought those when Violet 
what when she first came home from the hospital and I never ever gave them to my sister because I take my makeup off with them. I still have them. I still take my makeup off with them. They are so soft. Yes. So the nice thing with the baby ones is they're a little different. Um, it's like I said, it's same fiber, different weave. So yeah. our Enviro cloth, you know, it's it would take your skin off. You probably shouldn't use that on your face. Um, then our body cloths are gentler, still a little bit exfoliating, but the mm -hmm. baby ones are not exfoliating. So they're, yeah. they're much gentler. So if you have really sensitive skin or for babies, then it's not going to harm them anyway, but it's going to still get just, really clean. I just love, I love using them on my eye to get my mascara off. I don't feel like I'm chewing up that tender skin under my eye. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Awesome products. Do you have any questions, yeah. Donna? I don't have any questions, but I am going to run because I have that client coming. I need to get up there and get ready for and. Alrighty, and I'll chat with so you. So I, I'll, yeah, I'm done this afternoon about four. You're probably busy with Lisa, but we'll yeah, chat. I'll and we'll be back. So okay. Okay. All right. Thanks, Grace Marie. Right. Donna, thanks. Thanks for showing up, Donna. <laughs> You're welcome. Take care. All right. All right. Talk Bye. to you later, Holly. Yes. Bye. So, Donna, do you have any other product questions? Yeah, I chatted. I sent you a chat about toilet stains. Okay. So, what color are, are they like, uh, like the yellow from the pipes? Kind of nope, they're, they're like dark. They're dark. They're dark streaks that come down from the, like, the top. Oh, you know, isn't it so weird? I've noticed every house I've been at has different issues in the toilet. It's so frustrating. It's um, weird though, because we have two toilets and it's only in one. The other one has none of this. So I'm thinking it's the pipes leading to the toilet. That is really weird. Do you have the cleaning paste? Um, I have a clean paste, but I don't think it's Norwex. Okay. Um, I have the clay. Right. Okay. So the hard thing with toilets is it does really vary. So I hate for you to buy a product that's not the right one. So have you ever done a bucket flush on a toilet where you back flush it and leaves the toilet bowl empty? No. So you can use like a gallon pitcher of water and kind of like high up from the toilet is poured in kind of quick. You don't want it to splash, but it forces all of the water out of the toilet. Uh -huh. It doesn't hurt anything. It leaves it dry. The nice thing with that is then you can wipe it down without having uh -huh. to stand in water. Right. So I would try, if you want to try the clay um, or the Norwex paste first and see if you can get it off with like the Norwex cloth and a, a paste. Um, then if that doesn't work, I would either, because um, we have our we have our bathroom gel works worked great in toilets, and we have the descaler, and it's kind of a toss up. The descaler is great on hard water stains, and some of the other toilet issues, and the gel, the the bathroom cleaner. Let me let me pull those up in my catalog and see if it will specify. Um, toilets are so weird. I, that's just been so like crazy when we've, especially moving from rental to rental for a little while. Oh my gosh. You move in and it's already nasty and you're trying to fix other people's stuff they never took care of. Okay, so <laughs> I'll just read the description and we'll see which one fits better. So the bathroom cleaner, um, Highly concentrated, phosphate-free, all sorts of stuff free. Easily cleans toilets, basins, and other hard surfaces in one application, not for natural stone. Okay, so that one doesn't tell me the specific. Um, descaler, uh, it banishes soap scum, heavy calcium, lime, and rust deposits from showers, bathtubs, taps, and drains, and more. Not on natural stone. And then, the other one is more for mildew. So there's a little chart in the catalog. If you look at the catalog on page 29, there's a little chart um, 
the all-in-one clean oh i see okay removes hard water stains it says the descaler is best moving rust the descaler is best so i would probably go with the descaler <laughs> Yeah, that one sounds like the one I'm looking for. Yeah. It might be pipe rust. Pardon? It might be pipe rust. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I've had one toilet do that before too, and it was just like, where other toilets, you know, it's the ring around where the water sits. Or, uh -huh. <laughs> it's like, it's so goofy. Um, you can also, we have the magnet bowl that um, you can use in your uh, dishwasher or washing machine that helps soften water but i've mm -hmm. been reading just recently people are putting it in the back of their toilet tank and oh. it, you'll have to take it out every now and then and clean it because it will actually pick up a lot of gunk um, uh -huh. but it helps with some of the problems that are coming from the pipes okay so that might be something to try in the back um and then the descaler and the descaler you could use with the full rim but i I think using any of the products with an empty bowl just makes more sense because you're going to use less product because mm -hmm. it's not being diluted with all the water. So you're dumping the gallon of water down as you're flushing it? Nope, you don't flush it. You just pour it down kind of quick and it kind of creates like a vacuum and it sucks it out with that gallon of water. It's kind of weird, but okay. it works. Yeah, and it just I like doing that. I don't do that every time I clean the toilet, but if there's a problem, I'm really trying to scrub or something. A lot of times you can just clean your toilet. Once you get like stains gone, if you bucket flush, you can clean your toilet just with an Enviro cloth. You don't really need a lot of other stuff. Um, mm -hmm. If you're just cleaning it down. Well, I do it in my regular bathroom, but in that back one where I'm yeah. having the problem. Yeah. That's the one I said, yeah. <laughs> that is so weird. Yeah, and clean really well up and underneath the rim too, in case it's gotten, um, you know, cruddy in there and stuff mm -hmm. coming out. But yeah, the descaler and the magnet ball would both probably be a pretty good idea for that toilet. Okay. Any other questions on products? Uh, yeah, I was going to ask you how your dish towels are for absorbency. The dish towels are pretty absorbent um, because they're a little looser weave than the Enviro cloth. Because sometimes the Enviro cloth is so tight that you almost have to have it damp before it picks up water well. <laughs> you know, so if you go throw it on a spill, a spill, it doesn't pick up as well. But the, the dish cloths do, the dish towels and dish cloths uh, are super absorbent. Good, because I, well, I ask because I have a microfiber towel from the store, like yeah. you said. Yeah. And it does not dry the dishes. I mean, I have to stand there and wipe, 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 wipe before it ever gets a dish dry. Right. So that's why I'm asking about your dish towels. Yes. Yeah. They're super absorbent. There's some fun demos with like putting it in like seven cups of water or something and watching it, you know, absorb all the water. And we have a nice uh, dish mat as well for setting your dishes on that will absorb uh -huh. all the water versus the water going all over the counter. Right. Um, okay. I think so those are my only questions. Okay, so let me show you the um, the specials. Let me switch to share screen. Um, so Holly, Holly said that she uses her pet knit. Uh, does she use both wet and dry? Like dry to just brush them and wet to cool them off? So you use it wet to actually, like you're washing them just with a wet mitt. You can just wipe them down. They think you're giving them a massage and it's actually cleaning them. Yeah. And then there's a towel that's really thick and amazing. It has kind of pockets on the end so you can kind of stick your hands in them a little bit and grip. And then you can dry them off with the towel. I don't know if she does the towel or not or just does the mitt. But the pets uh -huh. usually love the mitt because they don't, they're not spraying cold water on them or anything. And they mostly feel like they're being pet. Um, let's see. Why is this not popping up? I'm on share screen. Do you see anything besides me? 
Do I say anything besides you? Yeah. No? Okay. There we go. Now, do you see anything? A picture of the catalog. Yes. Okay. So this is the uh, the current June host rewards. Um, I don't have the July one yet because they were making some edits. So they all work the same. They'll just have different package deals. So for the um, the hostess, we reward on every aspect of the party and everything is free. So you're not earning like half price items, you're earning free things. So the, um, the first level is as long as you have three orders, then anything the host earns, she won't pay any tax or shipping on her free stuff. Then at five orders, she'll get an Enviro cloth. Eight orders, she'll get um, the Enviro cloth and the kitchen cloth and it keeps going up. And some mm -hmm. of these may change a little on the higher ones on some months. Um, but it's usually pretty similar to those items. Then in the uh, free dollars, you get rewarded on your total sales uh, before tax and shipping, of course. Most parties fit into the 10% range. So if the party's between 250 and 749, you get 10% of the sales to spend on whatever you want. Um, if you go over that, so say you had $70 of free credit and you spend 80, you pay the 10 plus tax on the 10, but you still wouldn't pay shipping. So you can order whatever you wanted and just apply the credit toward your order. Um, for every booking, you get a window cloth. And then where it really adds up is in the package deals. So for June, the, uh, if you have a $350 party, one booking and three guests, you get all the other stuff already mentioned for each level, plus a package of items. So you would get the, uh, like Holly would get the laundry detergent, uh, a recycled Enviro cloth, the uh, body of pack, which is a limited edition color, um, and then her free host hosting, I mean her uh, free shipping and all that. So she would get that, plus she would be at like $35 free credit. She would get a bookie, a window cloth, and she would get an Enviro, no, no, I don't think she had the Enviro cloth. So then it goes up. So the, the higher the party, you get bigger and bigger package deals. And this one, there's two masks at the 750 level, I think. No, at the 550 level they add two of our reusable face masks. And our face masks are made from our window cloth material. And they have an, they, they pick up 81% of the 0.2 microns, like for the coronavirus. And so they've been a real hit. Mm -hmm. I've sold a lot of those. I think I've had 70 some so far that I've sold. Um, so anyway, that's how the hostess package works. I mentioned earlier, July's will be a little different um, because of this unprecedented time. <laughs> Norwex is working their butts off trying to keep up with our orders and stuff, which is great. But in addition to be having more orders, they have more setbacks, like even our catalogs uh, for the consultants to get them in, in advance, they're behind because their normal place that printed was shut down. So they had it yeah. somewhere else, which had less capacity and couldn't get them out as fast. So it's just like, so they're just, they're staying on top of it, but they like orders are taking a little bit longer. Normally you'd get them in a week. Now it's like two weeks. Um, everything. I just ordered, I just ordered from a camper and chef party and yeah. they're running six to eight weeks for delivery. Wow. So two weeks isn't bad. <laughs> no. Um, okay. So let me go to my other. I could find my other um, uh, <coughs> here we go okay can you see that one yeah okay so this is the customer specials so we have 
out of the last maybe couple years, a spend and get special. So if you spend 99, you get something else at a discount. So this is a new uh, Enviro cloth made out of bamboo instead of the polyester. And so they often try things out in their specials and see how popular they are. But I've seen some great reviews. I don't have it yet. Um, but I've seen great reviews on how wonderful it is. So you would get it for $15. And then the other two, this one is um, buy one, get one free. You're buying the shampoo and you're getting the conditioner for free. So um, it's $24.99 for both instead of for one. And then the beach towel set, I wish this picture was bigger. I got this last summer when it was a special. Um, it's a suede-like beach towel, so it's thin and really, really soft, but really durable, not thin as in cheap, but just not as thick as a regular towel. But the sand doesn't stick to it, and it's super absorbent. Um, comes in its own little bag, and it folds up very, very small, but it's five foot by three foot, so it's a nice size towel. I'm looking uh -huh. forward to using mine this summer. I got it last summer because I wasn't sure if it'd come back or not, but we're in the process of doing our backyard and putting in a swim spa. Yay. So uh -huh. hopefully the next few weeks we'll have a swim spa and then I will be using my Norwex towel. <laughs> so it is $53.99. Uh, normally it's $59.99, but it is an awesome towel if you love outdoor stuff. But the picture of it bigger it's really pretty with all the blues and browns and kind of looks like waves and beach and stuff it's a lovely towel mm -hmm. so those are the specials um and i had given you the catalog link um i yeah. don't need to do a door prize drawing because you will be the winner <laughs> <laughs> so, yay me <laughs> yeah and I forgot, let's see if I've got them in here. Okay, you have a couple choices. I'm pulling out. Okay, I have, I don't see your face. Can you still see me? I don't either. Yeah, I can see you. I see your name. There, okay. I, pop, I pop my video on and off. Okay, so I have two different colors of the body cloth or, um, these little, it's a little pad. One side is like the body cloth and one side is like the makeup remover cloth. So it's for cleaning your face, like removing uh -huh. makeup and stuff like that. So you could choose uh -huh. one of those or one of the body cloths for your prize. Um, the body cloth. Okay, which color, pink or yellow? Yellow. Okay. So I will get that to you. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, are there any other products I can tell you about or are you good? I think I'm good. Good. I know one thing that's been interesting, um, when I used to do the in-home parties, you know, and I'd take everything with me, the hardest thing with Norwex is there's so many great products that you want to tell about all of them because you don't want someone right. to them out but you really don't want to spend five hours telling me about every product. Um, uh -huh. So the key is like doing that little all five, the top five products on the mop and then anything else the customers ask about, but feel free, mm -hmm. you know, through either my phone, you've got my phone number on there or on the, in the Facebook group. We'll keep this open till um, I've been doing like a 24 hour um, closing because her, her hostess special is for June, so we want to get it in before the end of June. Make sure we don't run out mm -hmm. of food. <laughs> so tomorrow afternoon we'll close the party. Okay. We'll some of that in, in the Facebook <coughs> as well. 